You check your food labels for sugar and calories, but have you ever checked for lead and cadmium? These toxic metals are hiding in everyday foods, rice, chocolate, spices, even protein powders. There's a 2025 study and it found that 47% of protein powders exceeded safety limits for heavy metals. Welcome back to our kidney protection series, everyone. I'm Dr. Sean Hashvi, board certified nephrologist and obesity medicine specialist. And in part four, we're investigating the heavy metal poisoning hiding in your pantry. In our previous videos, we covered environmental toxins, protective medications, and microplastics in your kidneys. But today, we're going to focus on heavy metals that accumulate in your kidney tissues over decades. Unlike microplastics, which are new, lead and cadmium have been studied extensively. And the evidence is clear. Even low-level exposure damages kidneys. There's a massive 2024 study of 55,000 Americans found that people with slightly elevated blood lead levels had 41% higher odds of kidney disease. And those with elevated cadmium levels had 23% higher odds of kidney disease. But here's the shocker. If you had both metals elevated, lead and cadmium, your odds shot up by 65%. And here's what makes this story even more scary. Your kidneys store cadmium for 10 to 30 years. Think of it like rust slowly building up in your kidney's filtration system. Once it's there, it's incredibly difficult for your body to remove. So let's start with key point number one, which is the hidden sources. Let me tell you about a patient, Samantha. She's a health conscious 45 year old patient. She ate organic everything, exercised daily, and took expensive protein powders. But her kidney function was mysteriously declining. And when we tested her blood, we found elevated cadmium levels, the culprits, her daily dark chocolate habit, and rice-based protein powder. Now this isn't unusual anymore. When we look at where these metals hide, cadmium loves healthy foods. It's absorbed from soil by plants. The biggest sources are cereals and grains, especially rice. Leafy vegetables like spinach and cocoa powder in dark chocolate. The January 2025 Clean Label Project study found something shocking. Chocolate flavored protein powders contained 110 times more cadmium than vanilla flavors. Plant-based protein powders had three times more lead than whey-based powders. Even organic products weren't safer. They had three times more lead and twice the cadmium compared to non-organic products. And lead has different hiding spots. Imported spices, particularly turmeric and paprika, are major sources. Sometimes lead is deliberately added to enhance color. And protein powders are especially concerning. The 2025 study tested 160 products from 70 top brands. 91% had lead levels requiring California warning labels. Old ceramic cookware and chipped dishes can leach lead into acidic foods. Even contaminated water from old pipes brings lead into your kitchen. Here's what your kidneys face. Cadmium sticks to kidney cells like glue. Your kidneys try to filter it out, but it accumulates in tissues. And over decades, it reaches toxic levels where it starts to kill kidney cells. Lead causes inflammation and scarring in kidney tissues. It damages blood vessels, leading to hypertension and kidney-related gout. There's recent research from China found that combined metal exposure creates synergistic damage. The metals work together to cause more harm than each would do alone. Key point number two, the science of damage. The 2024 research is crystal clear about how these metals harm the kidneys. Let me break down what happens inside your kidneys. Cadmium's attack strategy is that it binds to proteins in kidney tubules. These are tiny tubules responsible for reabsorbing nutrients back into your blood. Once cadmium latches on, it stays for decades. The 2024 PLOS One study of 24,810 people found that even blood cadmium levels considered low by all standards were linked to kidney disease. Let's damage pattern while it triggers oxidative stress and chronic inflammation. Think of your kidney tissue as slowly rusting from the inside. 
Lead also damages the blood vessels feeding your kidneys. This leads to high blood pressure and accelerated kidney decline. The most important finding from recent studies, there is no safe level of exposure for long-term kidney health. A 2024 study from Northeast China followed 384 people for five years. They found synergistic interactions between different metals. When you're exposed to multiple metals, the damage is greater than the sum of individual effects. The gut-kidney connection is crucial. Heavy metals disrupt your gut microbiome. They reduce beneficial bacteria that produce anti-inflammatory compounds, and this creates systemic inflammation that your kidneys absorb. Molecular mechanisms are things like increased reactive oxygen species, disrupted cellular energy production, and damaged DNA repair systems. The scariest part? This damage is often silent for years or decades. By the time you notice symptoms, significant kidney function may already be lost. Let's get into key point number three, how to protect your kidneys. And there's a lot of positive news around there. Environmental kidney damage is preventable. Remember, unlike genetic kidney disease, you can significantly reduce your heavy metal exposure. Water protection first. Install a certified water filter that removes heavy metals. Look for NSF certified systems that especially filter lead and cadmium. Test your tap water annually, especially if you live in an older home with possible lead pipes. Smarter food choices diversify your grains. I know this is very difficult, but don't eat rice every day. Rotate with quinoa, barley, oats. Rinse rice thoroughly before cooking to remove surface contaminants. Choose smaller fish over large fish if possible. Remember, sardines and anchovies have lower heavy metals than tuna or swordfish. Protein powder safety? Well, after the 2025 studies, I've always recommended using whole foods as your source of protein, but try to stay away from plant-based protein powders. And if you must, pick whey or egg-based powders over plant-based powders. Choose vanilla over chocolate flavoring. Always try to look for brands that provide third-party testing and the results for heavy metals. Ask companies directly about contamination testing. Demand transparency. When it comes to spices, buy spices from reputable brands that test for contaminants. Avoid bulk spices from unknown sources. Remember, cookware matters. Replace nonstick pans if they're scratched or overheated. Use cast iron or stainless steel for cooking. Avoid heating acidic foods in ceramic dishes that might contain lead. The biggest protection of everything we've talked about, don't smoke. Smoking is the single largest source of cadmium exposure for most people. Quitting smoking can dramatically reduce your cadmium burden. Household environment, use HEPA air filters to reduce airborne particles. Wet dust surfaces regularly rather than dry dusting. Support policy changes that reduce environmental contamination. Remember the 2024 regulations limiting heavy metals in water happened because people demanded action. And monitor your health. Look, if you suspect high exposure, discuss blood testing with your doctor. While knowing your levels doesn't change treatment, it can motivate protective behaviors. Here are some practical takeaways. Let me leave you with five actions you can take this week. Number one, install a certified water filter that removes lead and cadmium. Number two, diversify your grain choices beyond daily rice consumption. Number three, switch to whey-based vanilla protein powder if you use protein supplements regularly. Number four, buy spices from tested brands that provide contamination reports Number five, replace scratched nonstick cast cookware with cast iron or stainless steel. And a bonus action step, test your tap water for heavy metal contamination. These changes can significantly reduce your daily toxic load. Remember, your kidneys are working hard to protect you from modern pollutants. The least we can do is reduce their burden. Let's bring this all to a close. 
Knowledge is your most powerful tool against environmental kidney damage. While heavy metals in our food supply sound frightening, you now have specific strategies to protect yourself. Small changes in, in water filtration, food choices, cookware can dramatically reduce your exposure. But your kidneys have remarkable healing capacity when you remove sources of ongoing damage. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join me on this journey to invest in, in your own health. As always, remember to express gratitude to others and to yourself by taking care of your health. If you find this work helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this content. I can continue this work to help everyone out there. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.